Hi all, it's Holly on another adventure, courtesy of GE this time. I'm in San Francisco for the Lean Startup Conference, and I thought I'd give you a view of the Grand Hyatt in San Francisco. As I approached my door, I saw this pretty door over here, it's a nice chocolate brown. This one's a nice chocolate brown over here. And then I got over here and thought, huh, this is a storage closet, janitor closet. Maybe it's the exit door, but <laughs> no, it's mine. It's my door, that's okay. We're not staying outside the door, so that doesn't really matter, right? Nah, not at all. So let's see what awaits us inside. Really could use a paint job, really. So here is the inside of my door, inside of my room. There's me, hey! Here's a interesting artwork. I'm pretty sure we used to do this with our little splatter paint system that my mom gave us for Christmas, right Dawn? Standard room, standard bed. At least this one's been made up recently, didn't look like anybody slept in it. That's a good thing. Of course, when I first got here, this thing was on Judge Judy. TV, that is. That had to go. Of course, they put it on Sports Center because they're going to be talking about Ole Miss going to the Peach Bowl. Hotty dotty. Of course, they are. So, you know, it's nice. It's fine. Look, you have some drawers down here, or doors rather. This nice leather ish like decoration. And behind door number one <laughs> is the world's smallest refrigerator. Like, you can't stand up a beer in here. I mean, like, you really can't. Fantastic, right? Hmm, good. That's useful. So behind door number two, we have the world's smallest coffee pot. You can't even see it down there. So you'll just have to trust me. It's down there. Over here, I want you to notice that there are actual books. And I took them down. There's, no, there's nothing hidden in them, like $100 bills. You always have to check. Mafia could have stayed in this room and they could have been hiding some of their drug money, you know, and had to run out of here when they got a raid. It always helps to check. I thought it was interesting titles. Breaking Her Fall. Through a Glass Darkly. Remember those titles. They're going to come back in this story. So, yes. So, over here we have this nice brown chair thing. I don't know why the ottoman is shoved up against it. <laughs> now we know why. It's because it's on auto swivel. Okay, well, that's nice. I wonder if they paid extra for that. I hope not. Back here we have standard bathroom. Except one interesting feature that I'm wondering how this is going to affect my stay later. These are earplugs. 3M Classic earplugs. What is going to happen later tonight that they feel the need to leave not one but two pairs of earplugs in my room? Nice dressing table. It looks really good with my Tory Burch purse. Thank you very much, Camry. And then here we have the closet. You know how I always like to check out the closets. This nice leatherette like handle. Ah uh, yes. It is, in fact, larger than my condo closet. Of course it is. Oh wait, it really is. Ah, uh, condo living. Ooh, drawers. Let's see if any ladies left here in a hurry and with their rapid departure left their Manolo Blahniks behind. Alas, no. It always pays to check though, because I can tell you, a couple of alcohol wipes and some Febreze, I'll be rocking a pair of used Manolo Blahniks. Repurposed, I call it. Oh well, not here. So, no Manila Blanks, no $100 bills in the books. What do we have here? Oh, these nice faux metallic sliding curtain-y things. Which, by the way, are plastic. I checked them out. But Craig, I think you might like these. Here's my view. It's very nice. This building over here has red and green lights. Can you see the red and green lights? Nice for Christmas. And by the way, I've got the Christmas tree. Look! It's a Christmas tree and an ice skating rink. I've never been ice skating. And palm trees decorated for Christmas. I love Callie's. 
Now, Macy's across the street, not quite the same as the mothership of Bergdorf, but Macy's can, you know, they can suffice in a crunch. But here's what's particularly interesting. How fabulous would it be if this sliding glass door actually slid, but they've got it somehow jammed where I can't get out. What a cool view that would be. Judd, Bounds, what are you doing tonight? You want to fly to California and open this door for me? Because you could probably figure it out. So alas, with this locked sliding glass door, I return to the books on this little shelf here through a glass darkly. Did someone throw themselves off the balcony and that's why I have it fro have this locked door breaking her fall? Mm, starting to see why perhaps the door is locked. Alas, too bad. Maybe by Friday I will have figured it out. And if I do, I'll send you an update video. Ta-ta from San Francisco. Stay warm, everyone. Bye-bye.